I have always wanted to do that. <laughs> Sorry, let's get to the video. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Now, this is just a quick video. Sort of a means of me venting my relief. Had almost had an awful disaster last night with Molly. Now, by the way, I'm walking towards a field that Molly likes and I'm, get, I'm getting pulled like crazy. She's up and I'll show you. Take me to the field, Stephen. Take me to the field. Don't go back. So yeah, last night, oh, almost it is the worst disaster ever. Um, the luckiest I've ever been, or should I say the luckiest Molly has ever been. So what happened was, I was taking her for a walk at about 8 o'clock yesterday evening. Here, she's pulling like mad. I'm going to wait them at her walking place. I'll talk to you in a minute. 12 seconds later. Right, you ready? Good. So yes, where was I? Um, we're going out for a walk around 8 o'clock and out into my wee hall just outside the door of the room to the left and press the button her and I stand there remember she's on this lead, this extendable lead so we waited on the left Lift door open, it was my wee neighbour of a, of a neighbour who lives facing me, who great great man, we always have a good chat, and he loves the dogs and he and he goes in and gets some meat and stuff. So he's playing with Molly and then he said something to me and I started to talk. And a second later I realised that the lift doors were closing and Molly had jumped in. So she's on the end of this lead and the door was gone. I couldn't open it. And the lift immediately started to go down. I've never panicked as much in my life because when you get to the end of the five meters, she's getting hung. And big panic and he panicked and 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 I thought of the lift's going down, lift's going down, what am I gonna do? And I decided to take a risk. This all happened in two, three seconds. And I felt the all of a sudden I felt the lead starting to pull me, which meant now it was at its length, which she was probably getting pulled up, and I just decided to take a big tug of the, tug of it. And I was, as I was doing that, I was worried I could break her neck or something, but I didn't know what else to do because I just knew if the lift kept going down and this was now jammed in the door, she would get pulled up, lifted up as the lift went down, hang her or, or squash her at the top. And I gave it a tug and it came loose. And as it came loose, I thought, oh, no, did it work? Did it work? Have I got her? And I was panicking and shaking and I started to run down this. The lift was, this came like really loose. So I knew she was either hung, it had broke, and I doubted that very much, these are very strong or it had come off her when I pulled it um, and I don't really know how that would have was, it would have had to be the latch so anyway I started to panic and I started running down the stairs and shouting and he was shouting and people were coming out of all the apartments I did have to do a reenactment at the phone. Get down to the second floor. But really, oh, as frightened as I've ever been in my life, and she's sitting there looking at me in the car door. And it was just oh such relief. And I lifted her and I gave her a big hug and oh my god. And why when I lifted her I realized she had no collar on. I was thinking, where's her collar? How did that happen? And I pressed the button for the lift, the lift had gone again, so obviously it got to that floor, the doors open, and, and and the other thing about that is somebody must have pushed the button from the second floor and then just walked away when the dog was there instead of anyway. So uh, uh, as I say I pushed the button, the doors open, and two things are seen right away her collar, nothing wrong with it, sitting there with about um, 40 inches of the lead on it. And the whole floor was wet, covered in pee. This all happens, remember, now I'm maybe only 30 seconds in, maybe a minute. And the whole floor all scattered in pee, not like a dog just sat in dead of pee. And I got the got the 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 collar and he was still panicking, so I ran back up the stairs or I got the lift up and um oh and he was so relieved and he had scissors in his hand. So he says I cut 
but I knew by the time he had cut that, that connection had already been broken and I looked at the end of the lead that was there and it was a nice clean cut so he's cut it um, later I don't know how to put that that'll make sense so he had just eventually got scissors and come out and cut the lead but that stage it had retracted almost the whole way up because it was loose out in the thing um, anyway panic over I was in shock and um, he was in shock and she got, a, <laughs> she got a lot of loving in my brain kept going she was so close to being dead the simple fact is if the lead hadn't come off she was definitely going to get killed. Was, I can't think of any way out of it. So I went into the apartment and I sat all night thinking and I figured, I figured it all out. Um, and I proof that I figured it out right. So what I'm going to tell you now is, is exactly what happened. So if you imagine, she goes into the lift. The lift starts going down. The lead starts extending out of here. As I felt it getting tight, that meant it was getting tight in her neck. And it would have just, she would have just went up. And that's when I give the tug, the luckiest tug of my life. Because what... As happened is her lead's quite I keep it quite loose on her. So when you're walking with her, it can't come off her because she's pulling. But when you turn her around the other way and pull it, it can come off her head. So as it lifted her up, she's been panicking, that's where all the peas come from. Started to lift and I've tugged at that moment and it's just come off her. It saved her life, but near killed her, it was my fault. Oh my god, it was unbelievable. And I thought to myself, yeah, there can't be any other explanation, that's the way it happened. And I thought, well, the only way I could prove that happened is if I could find the front, this wee bit of the lead, because um, he cut it, and it would have dropped to the bottom. So I got, the, I got out into the lift later on. It was this is maybe one o'clock in the morning with a, my torch and my, my keys, and went right down to the um, basement, opened the door, shone the light down, and there's the about meter, meter and a half of lead with that the attachment on it, which is from when he broke it. It's just fell. So that all made sense. Just pulled the thing right off her. So there you go, and you know I'm always talking to people about how dangerous these leads, these leads are dangerous, a lot of dogs will be killed, but it's usually with traffic, you know, people let their dog walk 10 feet in front of them when there's a car walking past, well they might as well have no lead on, whenever I'm walking her if a car's coming, I, I, I suck it right in before the car gets here all the time, so I'm really really careful, but it just shows you that had never entered my head that, that could happen with the lift. And now I'm so weary, even when I'm in the lift, I lock that because sometimes the lift door opens and somebody gets in and the door closes, she could pop out at the last second. So I keep her now really, really tight in the lift. So, so there you go. Proper drama. Well, I hope that all made sense, but it was frightening. Another thing, I put a video on a couple of days ago and it was quite a personal video. and. You know, there's not a lot of things to, to talk about now that I'm here and it's coming into the winter and it's settled down. Um, and I thought, I'll, I did a video, it was really about meditation. So it's completely different from my usual type of videos. And put it on, and I had it up for two or three hours and got a few comments fairly quickly. Um, one of them sounded quite negative, and I thought to myself, Maybe, maybe that's just not the right type of video for this channel, too personal, and I took it back down. But anyone who did watch it, it got 80 views. If you, if you can, let me know what you thought of the video. I might still put it back up again, I've been thinking about it now for the last day and a half. But I took it down, and I'm a bit disappointed in myself, took it down. Felt like it's... Ugh, maybe I'm just being too... People don't want to know that sort of stuff, and they're not interested in, in that sort I don't know, you know, you just don't know. Anyway. So there you go, I'm going to leave it off there. I, again, luckiest person in the world always am. That, that should have been a disaster. Me tugging that was just a, an instinct and I realised I could have broke her neck doing it. And, and it turned out that saved their life. And thank you, whoever, my mum looking down on me or whatever. But, oh, things always seem to work out for the good. Right, so I'm going to leave that off there. It was a very short video for me. So I'll see you next time. Bye. So for the first time in almost a week, she's back for a special command performance just for you. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Oh my god. <laughs>